I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a reading for Sean P. Diddy Combs and the recent allegations slash lawsuit that Cassie Ventura um he settled very quickly. There's been a lot of uh, rumors and speculation regarding P. Diddy and his behaviors for a long time. But we're going to look into why, I want to see why he settled the lawsuit with Cassie so quickly, especially since he's a very greedy man. Um, I want to, there's also some speculation that he was involved in Kim Porter's death. So we're going to look into that. So let's get to it. Spirit guides, guardian angels, please join me. Wrap me in your white light. Keep me safe from anything negative or anything that wishes me harm. Can you please show me this hero? Why did Diddy settle um, the lawsuit that Cassie filed so quickly? What is he afraid of? Um, her telling. What is he trying to hide? Can you please show me this hero? Why did he settle the lawsuit so quickly? Okay, so. We have the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. All right. The next question I have, Sarah, can you please show me was Diddy involved in causing the death of Kim Porter, his ex? Was he involved? What was his involvement? If so, did he cause the death? So we have the death card that came out. Interesting. Was he involved in the death of Kim Porter? We have the Three of Cups in the reverse. We have the Chariot. And we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Um, I want to see if um, will Diddy ever be would it will he ever be brought to justice? Will he serve the consequences of the bad actions that he's had over the years? Will he be brought to justice in the future? What does the future hold for Diddy? Will he be facing the consequences? So we have the lovers card. We have the temperance. The Page of Wands in the reverse, and we'll do one more. We have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Okay. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is the need to end um, this situation that's going nowhere. Basically, it's dead end. Um, swiftly as possible. Um, knights are messengers, so this is getting a message that we need to hurry up and wrap this up. We need to speed this along. This needs to go away. Get this out of the way so that we can cover up all the things that affect them. And I'm saying them because it's more like this wasn't necessarily a choice that he wanted to make. He was kind of told that this needs to go away. We need this to go away. There are things that we need to cover up. The Eight of Cups. You know, there's something that's that they want to keep the public from knowing, keep private to herself. Hurry up, keep get her mouth shut, seal her up. Um, the Nine of Cups is give her, you know, what she wants, satisfy her so we can shut her down. And, you know, go ahead and get the results that we need. The end result would be either way she would have won. But let's hurry up and give her what she wants. Because, you know, money is what the ultimate goal was there. Hurry up, get this done. We got to move forward. We need to get this over with, done, out the way. We need to keep her, get her out of our way, like, be gone type energy. 
So the next question was regarding um, Kim Porter's death. The death card, you know, of course, speaks very, very much so that yes, he indeed did have a part in causing her death. Um, the Three of Cups in the reverse is like gossip, things turning sour, um, envy, not trusting, betrayal. Um, so it, the energy is feeling like to me between their relationship, even though they were not together in the living together form, they were very much so um, starting out in the business together. She was very much involved in those things. She had a lot of inside intricate knowledge, not only on the business front, but as being in a relationship with him. Now, she had made boundaries and was feeling more in control. He made her feel like she was in more of a control, right? But um, it's kind of feeling like Cassie potentially, because this is getting advice from someone who's been in your situation before. Cassie came to her for advice and how to escape the situation with um, Diddy, like how to, how to gain control over her life again and get her freedom back. And she was expressing to her all of the things that she was going through. I feel that when she came to her, she told Cassie what she was already planning. Something that she had kept secret and hidden and she had been working on for a while and was trying to make happen and had kept hidden. I don't think that Cassie necessarily exposed it, but I think that somehow he became privy to this conversation via a recording, a camera, something. He gained knowledge of it. He knew with the chariot is acting in a restrained, self-controlled manner. He knew that he couldn't act in a way that um, was violent, so to speak. So the cups here, this is feeling like, this is somebody being patient. Being patient and allowing things to take place the steps being implemented, you know, um, like into her routine, something that she did every day. So maybe if she took like vitamins every day, she drank a smoothie every day. Um, he implemented something into the things that she used in a day to day that would quickly, now quickly, but over time deteriorate her health and cause her death because of him finding out that she was going to betray him and he needed to and she had too much knowledge, the amount of knowledge and evidence. I think that she had been collecting proof for of something. Like, there's something here. And I'm going to be honest, allegedly in my opinion, it feels like trafficking kids. Like, yeah, he was ab abusive and controlling and all that. But there, there's more to it. There's a front business, but then there's the back burner business. It's feeling like to me. And I think that she was trying to expose that part of it, maybe, as well. But she was giving her advice and trying to help her. He was seeking to hush her up real quick. You know, we're trying to hurry up and get this wrapped up in this situation completely we're done with her she doesn't serve any purpose in my life anymore i don't need her in my life and she was going to be my ruin because of my actions i don't want to do deal with that so let's just get rid of that okay um so the next question was you know is he going to face the consequences of his actions will justice be served 
So the lover's card is balance being restored. So things coming back into balance is duality. It's um, a partnership, intricate knowledge of things between two people. So very private things that, you know, are between two people that only the people in the relationship would know. Um, so that coupled with the temperance, which is balance as well. I believe that things will come into balance, that um, his karma will be paid. He will have to face the consequences for the actions and the choices that he made. However, the temperance card is also about patience, being patient, having to wait, things not coming to fruition super, super fast. It's going to be a, it's going to be a waiting period for things to come full circle but they will come full circle everything will balance itself out um so i think that the Page of Wands in the reverse is like um, someone coming to you for, like it would be like a child coming to you to get help with their career or, you know, seeking guidance from you and um, basically wanting to, to propel them forward and this is like, um, I like, it's like basically, um, the men mentoring someone, um, the truth, the word of mouth, because the wands is communication. This is the word of mouth. People being blocked from talking. Well, the truth about those things are going to come out. He is going to be fully exposed for things that everything that he has done is going to come out and exposed and the things that come out on the forefront of it it's going to seem like that's everything like we know everything there's nothing left to discover there's nothing left to to look at there's no we've we've seen the truth like but the thing is that those things aren't necessarily the full scope. So the full scope of what he has done will never be known, but he will have to face the consequences and take one for the team, so to speak. This is the partnership with his business, business partner, someone that he came to. So someone that mentored him, his mentor. The people that are in power above him. So if it's a hierarchy system, you know, there are levels to this. So someone that is a, above him in his level, say his mentor, the emperor, the boss, the real person in charge, that is not him. Um, and that's funny because uh, this is like the Frosted Flake dude on the Tony the Tiger. Um, and he talked about Frosted Flakes. I don't know why I thought about that. but um, So... He will face the consequences because the business partner, whoever is his mentor. So this is going to be someone that put him on. This is going to be the quote unquote person that is in leadership, um, their boss, the boss's boss. So this is going to be in the hierarchy. This will probably be the top of the pyramid, right? Um, of at least this particular pyramid. Um, so he is at risk of getting exposed and as things come out about Diddy, um, and possibly like, um, men, people that he has mentored in the career, they came for him for guidance or whatever, they start speaking out, they are only brushing the surface. There are things that aren't going to be said that and people that aren't going to be put on the spot, he is going to be essentially scapegoated, but he deserves it. He deserves everything that he will get, whether it be 
just humiliation, public shame, losing his, everything that he ever worked for, everything he ever gained. He will lose it all. He will lose what he values the most, which is his money, his fame, his affluence. All that's gone for him. That's a wrap. That's already, like, written that he's going to come crashing. His fall from grace will be hard. Now, whether that means jail or the the like being off, you know, <laughs> unalive, so to speak, he might suffer that fate. But it will be because he becomes in the position that of the people with whom he has discarded. And there are many. He has many uh, skeletons in his closet, many things that he needs to keep quiet but so but the people that really need to be gotten they won't be because he's going to be their you know scapegoat he's going to be who the attention is focused on and who bears the brunt of those consequences in the earthly in the earthly realm at least because he didn't follow the rules so there are rules to and methods to this the underground layer of this society this world like i feel that allegedly in my opinion only i don't know this i don't know him i don't know these people this is just the energy i'm picking up on only this is a pretty dark and underground type um, and intricate like Epstein Island type ish energy connected to that could be could be connected to systems of that I think that there are some very disgusting things that just aren't spoken about that are overlooked by people who don't eng engage in that type of behavior overlooked but they keep quiet the bystander apathy they don't look at it because they don't want to see it and they're just as bad i will tell you knowing these things and being okay with it as in just looking away bystander apathy no you're just as bad you need to say something do something if you don't you might as well join in because you are no better i mean knowing that things like that are going on and looking the other way and not saying anything and not speaking out about it and not trying to warn people or tell people or do anything is by far one of the greatest reasons for injustice and why things are the way they are because people are silent when they should be speaking the fuck up anyway so let me know what you guys think love ya i'm on my own broken alone i feel the rain crashing down all around this empty town